So let us see, can we prevent appendicitis? Recently, a very famous YouTuber, Casey Neistat, has suffered this problem. And he got this diagnosed at earlier stage. So the stay at the hospital was only 21 hours and no surgery was indicated. I would like to share some tips for the prevention of appendicitis. Dear Casey, these tips are I am going to share especially for you and the society. Please press the subscribe button and bell icon on your YouTube app. Stay tuned with Small Big Things for healthy living tips. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Small Big Things. I am Dr. Vag and today's topic we are going to discuss is appendicitis. But what is appendix? It is an organ in our body which doesn't have any function of its own. What do you mean by appendicitis? It's inflammation of appendix. How it occurs? Any cause leading to obstruction of appendix causes appendicitis. That cause may be fecal matter, bacterial growth or lump or maybe a cancerous growth. What you have in appendicitis is pain usually around the umbilicus, it gets shifted to the right abdomen on lower side. There may be nausea and vomiting, there may be a fever, loss of appetite, loose motions and weakness. What is the treatment of appendicitis? Usually surgery is the better choice. There are two types of surgeries where the open surgery is done or a laparoscopic is done. In laparoscopy, there is minimal invasion. But recent studies have shown that if a proper antibiotic is given from the very beginning, then you may prevent the surgeries. And this also gives the better output for its quality of life. Some tips for the prevention of appendicitis. The first thing is you should hydrate well your body. The hydration keeps the good motility of intestine and it prevents the fecal matter getting collected in the appendix. Boosting up your immune system. Yes, having a good immunity is the main crux of preventing any inflammation or appendicitis. The things like turmeric in kitchen prevents the infections and also boost up the immunity. The curcumin constituent of turmeric helps to prevent this such type of infection and boosts up immunity very fast. So it is better to consume turmeric on daily basis in meal. Consumption of turmeric also prevents the bacterial growth which is not needed in the body. So you can prevent the growth of bacteria and forming its lump at the appendix help to prevent the condition of appendicitis. The vegetables like bottle gourd, sweet potato, cauliflower and cabbage prevents the conditions like constipation and also prevent the condition of appendicitis. If they are consumed regularly in moderate amount in right fashion, if you cut these vegetables into very small pieces, you are going to cut the fibers and which will not give you the benefit of constituents or fiber content in it. Consumption of leafy vegetables Yes, leafy vegetables like fenugreek, spinach, spring onion contains the rich fiber in it and they also help to flush out the dirt or prevent the bacterial growth inside your gut and thereby increases your bulk of stool and prevents collection of fecal matter in the gut. Consuming the fiber rich diet. Yes, the fiber rich diet increases the bulk of stool and softens the stool and helps to pass it out easily from the body. This fiber rich food prevents the tendency of constipation also and there are less chances of forming the lump or hardening of fecal matter and getting stabilized at the appendix. Prevention of constipation. Yes, some people due to their lifestyle has 
a tendency to suffer from constipation so reducing such tendency to suffer constipation always help to prevent the problem of appendicitis you can watch my video on constipation and the link for it is given below down in the description box nowadays there is a trend that people are consuming more of a fast food like pizza burger and pastas etc see i'm not telling you to stop consuming these items but anything should be taken in moderation otherwise it harms your body these fast food has a bulk in it which is heavy to digest for your gut and thereby it stays for longer duration in your abdomen this thing of this food inside your gut for longer duration helps to bacteria for their growth and form lump and thereby leading to conditions like appendicitis so even if you have no choice other than the fast food or outside food it's my request that you drink a lot of water which will help you to flush out these from your body as early as possible exercises yes abdominal muscle exercises always help you to strengthen the muscle and improve the tone of the muscles after improving the tone of the muscle there are less chances of forming the lumps inside your gut and causing the conditions like appendicitis yoga there are many yoga poses which help to treat these condition and also prevent the conditions like appendicitis meditation meditation is always tries to bring you in harmony with the nature and when you are with the nature your body suffers less or prevents the conditions like appendicitis or other infection by fighting against the infections dear kesi i hope you will like this video and also the society will take the advantage of these tips to prevent the infections and sufferings from appendicitis please share this video with your friends colleagues and relatives too to and subscribe to my channel small big things for regular updates bye bye